really like to um, ask you two how um, how it is with you on the Shastra level uh, when you both make love. And it's not as good as it could be because it depends on what emotions are there at the time. Yeah. So so we we have some days where we might have sex four or five times a day and it'd be really really good. Other times when we go without for a week on end or whatever, and not be very good when we when we when we make love because because of the emotions that we're working through at the time. And the emotions would be blocking certain chakras. Yes. Uh, so on a good day, when your chakras are unblocked, both of you. Mine are never unblocked. Okay. Not yet, anyway. So. And I I am still working through heaps of stuff about shame, sexual shame. So. So, so would, would, even though I had spiritual influence there, if I could achieve that without the spiritual influence, which of course happened because of my emotional injuries, um, would it be similar? Like, um, and yep. I, I can imagine actually connecting in that kind of way with every chakra would be incredible. Yeah, it would. It is. Like, obviously, we've had nearly 2,000 years of experience of that, that, a lot of which Mary can't remember, but I can. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And, uh, like, I cry about it every time I think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah AJ was writing the outline and crying about it. I was writing this outline for yesterday and crying about it. Because just missing it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, um, the, the issue is that, yes, you can achieve that kind of experience yourself. You can certainly achieve it by yourself, but only by removing the emotional injuries towards men and women, you know? The, the intergenerational transgender emotional injuries that we have. And so if you can allow yourself to do that, you will actually obtain these experiences without spirit's influence. But the majority of tantric sexual experiences that are occurring in these kind of classroom type environments are actually heavily uh, dominated by spirits who are just having fun sexually uh, because they can't do the same thing in the spirit world. So you're actually getting raped, but not knowing it, and feeling it's a good experience. Oh, by the spirits. By yeah. the spirits, yeah. yeah. And that's why many times when we have those experiences, and many times when you go into a room with those kind of things going on, there's this really sleazy feeling that most people feel right at the beginning, and they've got to actually overcome that sleazy feeling to become involved. The sleazy feeling that you have is actually there's a lot more going on than what's just in the room. There's a lot of spirit involvement going on right at that same moment. Yeah. And there are literally millions of spirits wanting more and more tantric things going on, or you know, people who are willing to have lots of sex going on with all different partners in order for them to experience their own sexual issues. Also, um, really putting myself right out there, I have actually worked as a prostitute in the past. Yep. And, um, and I can see, you know, the emotional injuries that uh, have brought those about. Yeah. But I also heard you say that the um, there's soul injury that happens. Like, you know, I I'd really like to know what is it that I need to uh, help myself in in overcoming the the injury to my soul through having done that. When you were a prostitute, ask yourself what emotions you were getting from it. Yeah, feeling powerful actually. That's it, power. Right? So the addiction is the addiction of power, which means with regard to the sexual act, you actually have a feeling of powerlessness that you need to feel. When you feel the powerlessness sexually, what will happen is that emotion or addiction for powerful sex will be removed from you and you won't be drawn into anything that would cause those kind of interactions. For instance, tantric sex therapy or, or prostitution or any of those things. Does that make sense? Yeah, would that actually, the powerlessness come from my, um, uh, I had a, a experience when I was between five and six, probably over a year of uh, um, having intercourse actually at, at that age, between five and six, with a, a boy who was 12 or 13. Yeah. And it was, uh, so, I, I didn't know what it was, of course he said it was a game. Yeah. So, you know, being deceived and so on. Yeah, exactly. There were lots of related to that event. There's also, though, that event was a law of attraction event. Yes. And there are issues surrounding your father mm. that need to be 
looked at with regard to why this boy felt he could do that to you? Yeah, I've been sort of digging around and <laughs> working on it for it's a lot of stuff. But if you allow yourself to go into that emotional transaction that happened between yourself and the boy when you were sitting, there was a feeling in you at that time of power, like that you actually could control him as well by giving your body to him. So there was also this feeling of power that began to be developed then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. And the key is for you to allow yourself to look at that more emotionally rather than living on the addiction of it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, sexual power is often the form, like men rape because of that issue, right? Many women enter prostitution because of the same issue, right? And I'm not talking about the women who are abused in prostitution. I'm talking about the one who you know, grow up having a relatively good life, seemingly have a relatively good life, I should say, and then they enter prostitution because it gives them a feeling of power and a feeling that they're actually quite self-assured with regard to their own sexuality and so forth. Power is a big issue in sex, a huge issue in sex. And it's one of the main injuries that we have when we, when we have sex, and it's also one of the main reasons why, in many sexual interactions, we only get off in certain, or we only become aroused in certain situations because we're either feeling powerless or powerful. And there's no harm in feeling powerful sexually, but there is harm if it's out of harmony with love of self or the other person. Yeah? Uh, there'll be a lot of grief uh, about it, se sexual grief, because it, the powerless feeling usually can only come from an interaction in our childhood surrounding the opposite gender where that has been very abusive, either verbally, physically, emotionally, or even sexually. So, so there'll be those kind of events come up in the processing of that kind of emotion. The key is... Um, let the trigger, whatever the law of attraction brings you, is the trigger, feel the trigger, and then go into that emotion as a child would go into the emotion. And you'll soon come up with what the event was after that.